Hello everyone, this is Jason with For Geek Sakes, and today I'm going to be showing you how to switch versions on your Unified Communications platform. Now these steps work for both the physical and virtual servers. So let's just get started. Now there's two ways of doing so. You can go from the web interface, you can go to the navigation panel and go to the OS administration, click on go. And once you're inside of the OS administration, you can go to Settings, Versions, Now inside of this web page, you'll see you have three commands, a restart, shutdown, and switch versions. And notice that you see the active is 9.1 and the inactive is 9.2. So if we do a switch version, the inactive will become the active and the active will become the inactive, meaning 9.1 will become inactive and 8.6 will become active. So then you will be able to start using it. So I'm just going to do a switch version. Say OK. Now this process takes a a while to do. I mean of course you got to shut it down. It shuts itself down properly and brings itself back up. So this can take anywhere ballpark from 15 to 20, sometimes 30 minutes to completely become ready for use. And notice it's just saying a switch version request has been submitted. So basically it's telling you that it's in the process of shutting itself down and bringing itself back up. Now this is the now the one other way, way doing it. to initiate a switch version command is doing it from the command line interface, and that command is utils system switch version. Hit enter. So very similar to the web interface, you have some information on the screen where it says the active master version is 9.1 and the inactive master version is 8.6 so on down it says do you really want to switch between versions if I enter yes it will switch the inactive version to the active version and again it's gonna take a while to do so uh, roughly about 15 to 30 minutes just depending on how much um, how big your database is so that's basically it guys I uh, hope you enjoy the videos please like comment and subscribe and I will be making more videos in the coming weeks for geek sakes